So who's going to be ready for the fall cleanse Kitri diet with me? Hi, this is Cosby Mike and welcome to another episode. You know, we discussed the, uh, I've introduced you to the Kitri diet or the cosmic Kitri diet, which uh, I'm going to change a little bit to kind of, you know, bring in some new or different spices and herbs. Um, and I want to start this next week. So I want, you know, many people to get on board as much as possible. And we're going to talk a little bit in detail about it today and I'm going to post tomorrow and day after the, the recipes, uh, the menu, uh, the ingredients, that way you can get started over the weekend and then we begin on Monday. Basically it's going to be a three day diet that we're going to go on a three day cleanse uh, we're going to do. It's not a fasting but just a cleanse and it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So. You know, hope a lot of you join in, a lot of you, uh, you know, whoever's interested, this is a great cleanse or a great thing to do in the fall where we want to purge everything. We want not, we are, we're going to do just not the diet, but we're also going to do the emotional cleanse, the heaviness in the mind, in the heart. We're going to do some basic, um, you know, yoga postures, which help cleanse the mind, cleanse um, your heart, I guess, and get those emotions out. Because getting ready for the winter, we want to fire up our digestive system, fire up our, you know, cleansing and um, the colon to make sure it's working properly and clean, where it can push things through. Uh, so, a few things we want to get in detail. So it's going to last for three days. Uh, we're going to refrain from doing certain things or eating certain foods. Um, I'm sure maybe some of you might prefer doing it in the weekends, but for me, the weekdays are good. And I think because of the COVID, a lot of people are working from home, so it might be easier. You're not going out there. And it's not like you'll be rushing to the bathroom or anything. It's just uh, a simple, uh, more cooked food, more softer food, I would say, uh, which is easy digested. So we give the system some kind of rest and not bombard it with different types of foods or ice creams or cakes and chocolates and all those snacks that we have in between. And basically it's to kind of get the resources so the body can help fight other issues that are going on in the system, not just digest the food. And we give it some kind of break, but we give enough nutrients and enough nourishments to the tissue during those three days where you have enough energy and you're able to do your daily activities. Um, if you want to do it for the weekend, that's fine. Um, if you want to do it uh, in the weekdays with me, that would be great. I'll be posting in the morning and in the evening, just going to give you insights on what's happening. I'm going to put breakfast, lunch, dinner, what you're going to do uh, in between, how much water you're going to drink. And and you can change it, I guess. I mean, you know, I'm going to cheat a little bit also myself. Um, and we'll talk about that also. So first thing first, what we're going to do is this is a kitchri diet. And kitchri is basically what you can call porridge or soft rice. Uh, we're going to include some spices in there um, and we're going to include some vegetables in there. And the vegetables we're going to work with, not all the vegetables, but the cleansing vegetables, which I'm going to give you a list right now. Um, you know, like radish, onions, um, asparagus, sprouts, you know, Brussels sprouts. And these are very nourishing and very cleansing to the system. Um, broccoli, zucchini, they're soft, they're easy, they can break down very easy to the system. It doesn't have to work hard. Bok chow, kale, uh, garlic, and you know, ginger, make sure we have some ginger in there. Okra, broccoli. So those are some of the vegetables and I'll be posting those tomorrow on my post where you can see the list. And the veggies that we're not gonna do are basically the nightshades, tomatoes, cayenne, bell peppers, eggplants. Because those could be, uh, you know, allergic to some cause inflammation, so we're going to stay away from this. And this is, you, know, you could say, it's a mono diet where we're eliminating a lot of things and slowly introduce them later on. Uh, the spices will include cilantro, curry, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, ginger, um, you know, uh, turmeric, of course, and um, black pepper. But those are all digestive. The oils, we'll be using a lot of ghee and we'll be using a lot of olive oil, coconut oil, uh, clarified butter, if you can get some grass-fed butter, that's what we're going to be using. In the fruit side, you know, I would prefer you do only apples, pears, grapefruit, papaya and berries. 
because we want to stay away from all the high sugar fruits and of course as many fruits as possible but these four or five fruits are very gentle easier on the stomach they don't spike the blood sugar because remember we are not only trying to eat less or eat simple but we are also making sure the liver the kidneys the pancreas all those are not just digesting your food or you know giving all their resources to digest the food and give this some time so they can balance other things and nourish themselves and cleanse you know themselves uh, we would refrain from definitely dairy you know cheese any processed foods because we're going to eat only the kitchen uh, morning afternoon evening but we're going to add different things to it different vegetables uh, you know change the taste a little bit and we're going to refrain from meat completely any kind of meat fish uh, poultry uh, alcohol for sure <laughs> of course and no bread pasta so we're going to stay from all the carbs uh, wheat in general uh, salads, of course, raw foods. We're going to stay away from raw food because the goal here is to be um, to just get some, you know, nourishment from the food that's cooked or steamed. It becomes mushy, just like a baby, you know, is having baby food because it's easier for the stomach. Nuts, we're going to refrain from nuts for the three days. You know, I'm a big fan of cashews and stuff. And that's going to be a big problem for me. <laughs> so nuts, definitely going to be, um, you know, eliminating. Um, we covered that now let's see the fiber now sometimes what happens is when we're doing the kitchen diet because you're eliminating a lot of these things and you're having just the kitchen of it some vegetables there may be lack of fiber in the system so you may you know if you may kind of feel uh, not able to go to the bathroom or there's just not enough uh, fiber to create uh, bulk so we may have to compensate that with some psyllium husk uh, I would do some magnesium at night help loosen the stools trifla is a great uh, herb that's not a laxative, but really effective in moving uh, the colon muscles and you know making sure there is peristalsis. Uh, there is prunes. You can have a couple of prunes at night to make sure everything is moving through. Um, the spices that we'll be using, of course, uh, ginger, cardamom, uh, curcumin, uh, cumin seeds, um, tulsi, neem. You know, those are some of the teas. You can also make those into teas because we'll be having all hot teas, hot food. Uh, soups, we can also include soups, but nothing heavy, no heavy dairy soups or thick soups, clear soups, that would be the best thing. Um, and something you can see through, so uh, broth, those would be fine, but not raw foods, no salads, and because we want the system again to just do least amount of work to digest those foods. And the kitchery is going to have enough nourishment because we're going to introduce a lot of these uh, lintels or dolls as such which has the protein which have the b complex and mo most of the nutrients that we need and they're easily you know broken down with the system once they're cooked uh, uh, in a certain way so that's all that in a nutshell i mean that's what we're going to do we're going to replace the kitchery on one of those we can also do quinoa uh, and couscous you can introduce that instead of rice if you prefer and the rice I would you know try to get the jasmine uh, not the jasmine sorry the uh, basmati rice the thinner uh, the lighter because the whole goal again is to do lighter as much as possible um, so we can feel lighter and you know refrain from all the heavy foods though the earthy foods I would say like um, you know potatoes and stuff so we're not going to have any potatoes or any kind of potatoes that are there uh, the foods definitely we want to stay away from. fruits that we want to stay away from mangoes bananas melons um, because those are high sugar uh, a little bit you know taxing to the to the liver of course for insulin so i'm going to post all these and i'm going to put those together exactly uh, teas and the goal is just not to have anything cold no ice no cold waters no cold drinks uh, as many teas as possible as much water as possible warm or room temperature or hot even that's the ideal way because heat or breaks down the ama that we spoke you know last week so congestion, we want to break as much congestion down, you know, refrain from the yogurts and the dairy, which would cause more congestion. So I hope uh, that was a lot, but I'm going to put those together. I'm going to put those on whatever I spoke on my um, feed uh, by tomorrow. That way you can see exactly the ingredients we're going to have, we're going to need, and what we're going to, not going to do. And of course, the recipe itself to make the kitcheries. Um The kitcheries, you know, I'm going to, Play with them. We can. Uh, I'm going to use my wife's uh, recipe. She has a great recipe. I'm going to use one of those. I have one that I uh, saw myself. I have done it. And there are a couple of them. We're going to tweak them a little bit. So we have a little bit different of food. We don't get bored of it. 
and let's see what happens. And you know, I want everybody to give their comments and see uh, what are they going through and how they feel afterward or during. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in the comment section or message me directly on Facebook. So um, hope everybody have a safe and great weekend, and we'll catch up on Monday if we start the cleanse. Thank you. Bye-bye.